this video I'm going to cover how I use the layer system inside of ZBrush to create expressions. First I'll make a layer that will close the eyes, then create a layer that will raise the eyebrows, and also one that looks very angry. And then I'll show you how to use the Rotate Transpose tool to move the eyeballs around. To start out, I'll create a morph target. Just in case I mess up, I can use the morph brush to fix it. Open your morph target menu and click Store MT. In the layer palette, I click the big button with the square in it. That creates a new layer. ZBrush creates a new layer, and as you can see, there's a white dot at the end of the layer. It means that layer is currently recording. Using the standard brush, hold down Control and mask out the upper eyelid. Hold down Control and click on the canvas. That will invert the mask. I then use the Move Topological Brush to pull the eyelids down. Sometimes I turn on the wireframe to make sure I'm not doing anything too crazy to the mesh. I also use the Smooth Brush to even things out. Make sure that your RGB is off, or otherwise you'll mess up your polypaint. I then invert my selection and pull the lower eyelid up. When you're done sculpting, press the white button to turn off the recording. Now use the slider to test your layer. I always think it's cool to see my character move for the first time. It's always a good idea to name your layers to keep things straight. Click on the Name button and we'll call this layer Close Eyes. Now I'll create a layer that I'll use to raise the eyebrows. I'll start off by masking around the eye. That way it won't distort when I move the eyebrow. I'll then use the Move Topological Brush and make it really big and pull those eyebrows up. Now I can check the movement by pulling the slider back and forth. Layers record both positive and negative values. Sometimes using negative values can create interesting effects. Now I'll name this layer. I'll call it Raise Brows. I'll unhide all my subtools and check the movement again. Now I'll create a new layer that will be for some angry eyebrows. This time we'll do a little sculpting along with it. Mask off the eyes and use the Move Topological Brush to pull the eyebrows down. And I'll pull those straight. It always takes a little bit of experimentation. I'll then use the inflate brush to pull a little more volume into the lid. There we go. And then use the dam standard to pull a little crease in there and smooth it out. Now let's check that layer. I think that works well. Now I'll rename that layer to Angry Brows. I'll now show you how I use the Transpose Rotate tool to move the eyeball around. First I'll use Solo to hide all the other subtools. Then I'll hold down Control and mask over one of the eyeballs. Press R on your keyboard to select the Move Rotational tool and drag that out from the center of the eyeball. Now here's the cool part. Click on the little white circle and that will center the tool to the center of the eye. Notice how it points off in some weird direction. Go ahead and click the blue line to pull it back where we want it. I now unhide all my tools so I can see where she's looking and position the eye just right. Click and move inside the orange circle and then you can see the eyeball look around. Now we can do the same thing to the other eye. 
Hold down Ctrl and click on the canvas to invert the mask. Press R and draw out the rotational tool. Click on the white dot and then the blue line. Now unhide the mesh and click on the middle of the orange circle so we can move the eyeball around. Getting your character to look anywhere but dead center sure does help. <laughs>